This is my Acer C720. <clears throat> I have a legacy boot enabled. Um, I've installed Ubuntu 13.10 and what's actually interesting is I have a SanDisk uh, USB 32 gig, uh, I think it's called a Cruiser Lite. I actually have that uh, mounted to the home directory so unfortunately every time I boot up I do have to hit escape and then hit 2 so I boot from the hard drive. Um, this gives me a combined 48 gigs of space. Um, it does boot up pretty quick. Um, and pretty much out of the box, this does actually, uh, pretty much everything works. You have accelerated video, um, all 4 gigs of RAM shows up. I know on some of the Debian builds, uh, I had some issues where it wouldn't boot and I'd have to specify one gigabyte of memory. Not the case with this. All four gigs show up there. It shows 45 gigs of disk space there. Um, as well, it shows uh, the Intel Haswell driver for video. Um, it is pretty quick. Uh, out of the box, uh, with 13.10, with any build I've found actually, you do not have a touchpad driver. Um, it's you do have to install uh, a compile and install a touchpad driver. Uh, I had done that a few you know a week or two ago and it was terrible. Uh, it was not very responsive. I put two fingers down it would scroll sometimes, wouldn't some others. Uh, that's not the case now. There is actually a patch for that and it works just as good as in Chrome OS. Um, so that really sealed the deal for me. Um, the only thing that doesn't work, uh, my understanding is it does not uh, suspend, uh, it suspends, but it won't wake from suspend correctly. I think people out there have gotten it to where uh, it's an issue with USB and audio. They've taken care of the audio issues. However, because I have my home directory mounted to this uh, USB drive, I need to have USB working when it uh, comes back from being suspended. Um, I do have Wine 1.7.8 installed and I have Skyrim installed on top of that. Um, you do need the newest version of Wine uh, 1.7.8 to properly install Steam. Uh, in my case, you may be able to use a earlier version for Skyrim, but you might as well just have the newest. Um, it works pretty well. I'd say, you know, tw maybe 20 frame, 15, 20 frames a second. It's playable. Um, I have the textures on the lowest setting here. Um, I should have changed them to the uh, medium setting. Really, it doesn't make too much of a difference with uh, speed. I just was trying to see what I could do to make it faster. Now because <clears throat> I have the home directory mounted to this 32 gig card, uh, Wine automatically puts everything in the current user's home directory uh, under a hidden folder, dot .wine, um, which is very useful. I never would have uh, been able to get Skyrim and Steam installed on the 16 gig partition it comes with. You could naturally use uh, a bigger SSD, however, it's more expensive than a $17 jump drive. 
It's about fifty dollars, sixty dollars for a uh, sixty-four gig. So you can tell how well it plays, approximately. Last thing I would mention, if I could get this to quit. Last thing I would mention is setting up keyboard shortcuts. Pretty easy to do. Um, I'll post this in the video as well. Uh, they already have sound and media set up here. You just have to set that to, for the mute, volume down, volume up, to these three keys here. And then you do need to make custom shortcuts if you want uh, brightness to work. Um, you can uh, install X backlight, X backlight, and uh, set that up to do the screen brightness. Works pretty well with 10% uh, increments. Um, other than that, everything seems to work really well like it should run this out of the box.